1 Peter 2 is a chapter filled with beautiful analogies that give examples of how we should live out this life as a child of God. When it comes to the Word of God, he says, as a newborn baby hungers for milk, we should long for the nourishment of Scripture. And when it comes to our faith in God, we should be like steadfast stones of the temple wall. Jesus is the foundation so we don't shake, crumble, or fall away. When it comes to worship, we should be like priests that offer sacrifices continually. We should constantly be offering a life and song of worship that is pleasing to God. And when it comes to our identity, we should remember that we were once a people who lived in darkness without connection or purpose, but he called us out to live in marvelous light, not alone, but as a new holy nation. So now we're foreigners in a strange country. This world is not our home. This culture is not our culture. Our future, our work, our investments are now in the kingdom of heaven. And when it comes to this idea of freedom in Christ, Peter says we're to be as bond servants. In other words, we're like a slave that's been set free, whose debt was paid, but yet he chooses to stay and serve his master, not under the law, but under a new covenant with the Lord, one that's built on relationship, not bondage. And when it comes to suffering, Peter gives us the best analogy of all. He says we should be like Jesus, who suffered unjustly, yet he did not repay hate for hate. Instead, he bore the suffering with patience and forgiveness. And then he closes with this reminder. Once you were like sheep who wandered away, but now you have turned to your shepherd, the guardian of your souls. 